this is my dog, Rosie. Rosie is a great Pyrenees, and she's going to help me test out the PetPhone real-time dog activity tracker. PetPhone is a GPS tracker. It's a tracker that works by attaching to your dog's collar, and it will let you know where your pet is at any given moment. The reason I wanted to test out the PetPhone dog activity tracker with Rosie is because we have a very large property, and she's one of our guard dogs along with our dog Blue here. He's a border collie, and Rosie and Blue pretty much have the run of the entire property, yet Rosie won't stay in the yard. I need to use a GPS tracker so that I can find her if she does manage to go over the fence. Other GPS trackers charge a monthly or a yearly fee, but PetPhone does not do that. So you can see here, this is what PetPhone looks like when you unbox it. It comes with a GPS collar attachment as well as a controller that you hang on to. The case that holds the both the GPS and the controller is the, also the charger, and there are two stretchy elastic bands to clip the GPS to your dog's collar. The band for the collar actually fits very snugly, I really like it. The it also includes a holder so you can see that the casing around the GPS tracker is what attaches to the collar as well. It uses satellites to track your dog and you can find your dog or call your dog via the controller. It has a button for lights and a button for sound. If you press it the collar will either light up or it will play a sound. Rosie didn't mind the lights, but she's very scared of the sound. You can change the color of the lights, or you can add your own voice to the sound. I added my voice to say, Rosie, go home. Rosie, go home. Rosie, go home. Rosie, go home. She didn't like that very much either, but it was very effective in getting her to come when I called her. Everything with pet phone involves the app. So you can set an e-fence within the app. This is a geofence. And all I had to do was tap geofence and it would automatically narrow in on where we live and it would track her within a radius around me. So I had to set it for a very narrow spot just because I didn't want her to be able to get out to the road. You can also set just a standard fence as well as set an area where there might be hazards. So if there's or like a lake or a pond and you don't want your dog to go near that, you can set your hazard for that area and you'll receive a notification if your dog goes near there. The range on this device is around one kilometer in heavily treat areas like we're in and about five kilometers in wide open areas. That being said, it's also a device that's more geared for somebody who's going to be walking their dog. So if you'd like to be keeping track of your dog while you're walking your dog, if they're prone to running away, this is a good device for that. If you're someone like me who wants to know where your dog is when you're in the house, it would be a little more difficult to use this device just because any obstacles like the house or outbuildings will reduce your range. In the app you can keep track of your dog's daily activity, so how far that they will walk and that's also a good thing to use if you're constantly walking your dog and you just want to know the distance that you are walking. You can also Keep an eye on where your pet is in the yard or wherever and the various hot spots that your pet will frequent so you can see a heat map almost on the app and it will just show you how oft, how long your dog was in one spot or another. I love the radar on the app. So even if you can't get the GPS to load as quickly as you'd like, you can always tap the radar and it will narrow in on where your dog is at any given moment. I found the pet phone GPS tracker it was very easy to use, uh, but it did not do exactly what I needed it to do. It would be a great device if you were just going to walk your dog and you wanted a tracker that would keep you near your dog at all times. 
for someone like me who needs one that's going to work outside of the house while I'm inside, then it's not quite as efficient. But it did pick up the satellites pretty quickly and I always knew where she was. The case makes it simple to recharge the devices. Just keep in mind that the more you're tracking your dog, the faster your battery will drain. It should last between 8 to 16 hours. I really like the light. It makes it easy to find her at night. And I loved the voice chip that lets you add your own voice as a sound to recall your dog. For a subscription-free service that is no monthly fee, no yearly fee, it really did work quite well. I was impressed. You can see my review of pet phone dog activity tracker on Best Buy Canada's blog. Thanks for watching.